Hola Geek fans, this is Shane Watches. What did Shane watch? Shane watched Old Boy. The Jacob recommended me The Old Boy. The Old Boy is a Korean film. Why don't you tell me something about it, The Jacob? So there's, there's this guy, he gets uh, locked in like this, this, this uh, hotel room. It's like this hotel prison. Yeah, it's it, bizarre. It, 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 it's, it's really weird. He gets stuck in there for like how many, how many years 15 was it? Fifteen years. F Fifteen years. And then he, he gets out and then he wants revenge. He wants to know who put him in this place and put him through all this hell. And it is an awesome revenge story. I, I feel that way. But now we're going to see how did you feel about this movie. At first, I was confused by it, right? Because yes. I'm like, what the hell is happening right yeah. now? So here, here's my arc. Let me give you my arc of enjoyment. Okay. So starting off, this is me. What the <laughs> hell is going on? Right, so I'm here medium, we'll say. As the film goes on, I do this. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And then like the last 30 minutes, I do this. <laughs> I did not like the last half hour of this movie. I thought it fell apart. And I thought it was, I just, I, I, I hated the last half hour. I enjoyed everything up until the last half hour, pretty much. I mean, so he's on this revenge story, and it's really interesting how, he, how, he, how he's piecing together this puzzle. And there's some really amusing scenes. There's one scene fairly early on, because he, he spoilers, there's, we always have spoilers in these things. He gets out, right, after 15 years. During his 15 years, he, he's training, like, against the wall, pretending to do things. So right at the very beginning, the beginning after he gets out, he meets up some, some thugs, and he says to himself, because there's, like, there's this narration of him, of him, like, in his mind, can, fifth, can 10 years of uh, pretend training actually pay off? And then he kicks their, all their asses, yeah. like, yes, or something. I can't remember yeah. what it says exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and th there's that scene, uh, I think it's that scene you're talking about where like it just like has like a panning shot of him going through all the thugs. Oh, oh, that's later. Yeah, Let, that, let's get to that awesome scene. So, so, so we we continue w w with him like trying to figure out what's happening. Eventually, he gets back to the place where he was imprisoned. Yes, he finds out it was like it's in between two stories. He finds the guy. He, t he takes out his teeth, but forget about that part. He's leaving the place, and then uh oh, holy shit! Here's like. Two dozen thugs in a hallway. And there's this one pan shot where it just starts from here yes. and just pans. And this must have been a pain in the ass to <laughs> shoot. And he's just kicking their asses. At one point, they stab him in the back and they're like, is he dead? And he gets back up and starts <laughs> kicking some more ass. And at, at the very end of the pan, they open up the elevator and there's like another half dozen thugs. <laughs> and they show a close-up of his face. And he smiles, <laughs> and they show the elevator opening up again, and they're all they're all beat to hell. <laughs> so that was all cool. He meets this random woman, which we later find out that was kind of a setup that he was supposed to meet this woman. Uh, but as the story progressed, more I learned about the, his antagonist, the guy that's against him. More and more, I just felt it kind of weird that this guy is having this this, this strange setup. And more and more out there, I found it, and more and more. Less plausible, I found it to be. And then towards the end, I just... Yeah. I, I don't want to... Even though we give away spoilers, I don't want to give away the, the main twist of this movie. All right, we're not going to give away the main twist. But it what is... What did you think about the end? Did, did you, it was so bizarre. It's pretty gross. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gross. And, but it is... Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel the way that you felt about the ending. I actually enjoyed the ending and was like... Holy shit! That that that's a crazy. That's like an M Night Shyamalan twist right there, <laughs> but but better, obviously. <laughs> and um, in this movie, you can obviously see the influence that it had on like Quentin Tarantino's movies. And, the, and he said that he like loves this movie. That it's like a cinematic masterpiece. So I, I you can definitely see how this movie influenced like action and revenge stories. Creatively, it's great. Like the the person that made the movie, I'm sure they're very satisfied with their creative vision. Right. This is this is not like we talked about recently. We talked about Fantastic Four. Clearly, the director was not satisfied with his, with, with the vision. It, yeah. it, it wasn't his vision. It got it got screwed up. Yeah. This clearly is a person's. They had an idea. They had a concept, and it's weird and it's different. And here it is. I brought it to life. And if I was that guy, I'd be happy. But like we always we talk always talk about personal taste. I just didn't like the the ending. I just I just didn't, to me it just fell off. It, it got it got a little too bizarre, a little too out there. I, I will say I was confused by towards the end. I'm like, wait a second, what exactly are the motivations here? Yeah, why is they why are they doing this or that? I'm a little it, because the, the motivations at first were starting to become clear. Like at first you have no idea. It's like this makes no sense. Why would anyone do this? They're like, 
oh, now I'm starting to get it. Right? Yeah. As I'm st- so I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Here, here's me getting it. Starting to get it. Starting to get it. Oh! <laughs> then this goes back to me being confused again. That yeah. was the problem. I was confused at the end. Yeah, I, I will say that that whole like ending shot with him with him with the uh, main antagonist. Yeah, it it, it was kind of weird because it, it, like, it, it, it was the acting was just kind of wonky. Yes, it, that's the thing. The acting was wonky, and I never understood like the guy always was really so casual about him. It's like this guy wants to kill you, but you don't seem to care. Yeah. But the guy never did try killing him. It, it, uh, we're not gonna give away what actually happens towards the end, but I always felt. When those two guys were on the screen together, that was the worst. There you go. That's it. That's it. There, I, just, I just nailed it. It was when they were together, the, the, the main protagonist, the main antagonist, they talk to each other a lot, but not on the same screen. They're in different spaces. Like there's a scene where the guy's like an internet cafe or something, and the other guy's somewhere else, and some stuff happens I'm not going to tell you about, and it's cool. But whenever they're inhabiting the same space, yeah. it felt off to me. Like, like... This is not how people would act. Yeah. Something would, some, someone would snap at this point. One, one of these two guys would snap. Yeah. Right? Ba- like, at first, you don't understand why the antagonist is even mad, but towards the end, you're like, okay, this guy should snap. Yeah. And they don't do that. It's, too, it's played too cool. Yeah. And too, like, for a movie. That's what I felt. Yeah. I, I honestly love this movie. It's, like, one of my favorite action movies of, that I've seen in a while. Uh, I would definitely recommend seeing it, but... Keep in mind, like Shane said, it gets kind of wonky towards the end, but it has one of the biggest twists that you'll never see coming. Yeah, I, I'm not saying this is a bad movie. This is this this is. I'm just saying this movie. It's it, it's weird to me, but I'm, I'm I can tell that this was made lovingly. The person really cared about what they were doing. Like that, he really he wanted he had a vision, and this is his vision, right? So good for him. Good for the creative person. Now everyone's going to understand when you're a creative person making things. Not everyone's going to understand what you're doing, right? So as long as you can get what you want, that's good for you. But it's not going to appeal to everyone. This movie was entertaining to me for the first two-thirds, three-quarters of the movie. And then I just kind of got, eh, this is a little, this is too wonky. Like, yeah. it's wonky. It's, 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 it's a kind of a head-scratcher to me. But either way, old boy, check it out for your action movies. It's got some great action set pieces. That, yes. that, that, that pan hallway scene is just it's so ridiculous. It's so, and it works. It's really cool. I really like it. Um, anything else you wanted to say, Jacob? Uh, just check out Old Boy, and you can also check out more videos like this on our YouTube channel at Geeks at the Movies. So check us out there. Excellent. So we've been Geeks at the Movies, and we'll talk to you later.